the solution for this example. Firstly, we've got to make sure we're in a table format. So notice that when I clicked in there, immediately the table ribbon appeared, so that's useful. I'm going to put it into Power Query because you never know how it's going to react. So let's just see. So interestingly enough, on my computer now, it seems to have handled it okay. So notice that it's picked up immediately that it's potentially a decimal. And these 0, 000 zeros are coming through as a zero. So this one here actually seems to have worked. So there's not much more to do, but you may find on your computer it didn't quite handle it correctly. But Power Query is quite good at handling numbers that are not quite the same. Second part was just to make sure that this part number over here, notice it has decided to leave the zero in, and this is correct. But if for whatever reason it had come through as whole numbers, for example, I'm just going to replace the current. Notice then that some of these part numbers will actually be wrong because that zero, 01 is actually important. So just keep in mind that occasionally things that are numbers you're actually going to tell to rather be text. So that we can see exactly what it's called. So just make sure that you know whether it should be a number or shouldn't be a number.